it's teacher minds once again so this afternoon as i'm going to have my demo lesson you will experience how it's done by using the explicit instruction so let's do it so grade seven einstein welcome to my class smile say hi to your seatmates hi grade seven einstein okay now I'm gonna have a review for a while, okay? One, two, three, eyes on me. What's your response? One, two, eyes on you, all right? One, two, three, eyes on me. One, two, three, eyes on you. Again, one, two, three, eyes on me. One, two, eyes on you. All right, so this afternoon, before we proceed with our main topic, we're going to have first our review. Now, I believe that in our past lesson, we had um, a lot of things going on. But before that, we'll have to count you in four, and then we start here. One, two, three. Four. One. Okay, all ones, there's group twos, threes, and four. Okay, proceed silently. One, two, three, eyes on me. One, two, eyes on you. Okay, so now I'd like you to remember your name. Group one, where are you? Group one, okay, so you are the animal lovers, the claw. Wow, okay, roar, okay. Now we have group number two. You are the darling, you have the gift box. All right. Gift box and then they're saying meow. Smileys for people who always smile, group three. And then of course, we have the ice cream people. Maybe later you're gonna have your ice cream. Uh, yeah. All right, so these are your groups. These are your groups. So the moment that I pose a question, you answer, if you know the answer, you answer by group by saying the claw or claw, gift box or gi box, okay? Claw, box, smiley, ice, ice cream. cream. So the moment that you shout your group, you can have the chance of answering the question. Let's try. What's the answer? Claw. Claw. Okay, claw, what's the answer? X to the power of eight. Okay, X to the power of eight reveal. It is. Woo! That's correct. Correct. Huh. Ready, get ready. We have question number two. Okay. power of 12 let us reveal it's correct okay so one point okay next 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 okay box box okay box box no that's wrong wrong smiley smiley okay smiley power of 11. All right, that's correct. Two points, Smiley. So much with the review. Now, okay, I know you, I know, I know, I know. I love, I love it that you love math, but we have to proceed. Now, the property that we used with the multiplication of binomial into another polynomial is, what property? Like for example, we have it is 3x, x squared minus 4. So, exactly, we distribute, alright? So this, this polynomial here, we kind of distribute with the monomial here. So it's like in the classroom of section grade 7 Einstein, if you like to mingle with a guy, mingle with the rest. <laughs> thinking I said mingle just mingle say and guys guys means everybody right yes. oh, dirty minded <laughs> excuse me <laughs> okay, okay, okay. as I've said you have 
use the distributive rule. So it's just okay if it's going to be monomial because even if we increase the number of terms here, the same process will go through. But the question is, how about if it's going to be this? Okay. Wow, you have an idea. It's like you are still doing that, okay? It's like the same thing, no? It's still a polynomial. And with this, having without this, you still do the distribution. And if we're going to have this, you are still doing the distribution. But of course, there are a lot of techniques to that. Okay, so first off is you may be multiplying 6x, which is the first term, to another term in the second. No? Or you're going to multiply 6x again with the negative 1. But after multiplying 6s, you, you again have to multiply the second term of the first pair into the first term of the second pair, okay? That's it. Okay, now, this is actually what you say, because that was my assignment yesterday, that's going to be FOIL. But in the sense of explaining what FOIL is, we're going to do the details. There's a lot of techniques, there's a lot of patterns or setups, and we're going to discover which setup is really suited for you guys. Are you excited? Yes. All right, make, make some noise, people. No. Before that, our topic is, what is our topic? Okay, everybody read. One, two, ready, go. Guys, at the end of this session, I am deciding that you shall have to multiply binomials, use different techniques in multiplying binomials, and carefully apply the techniques in multiplying binomials. Okay, so since that is our target for this afternoon, so let's start off with an activity. And I'd like you to really look into this because this is really awesome. All right, so guys, be with me. Wait, wait, wait. There's an orange paper, should be complete. There's a blue paper, there's a green paper, and a yellow paper, and lastly, the instruction. Okay, do not open yet. Two, three eyes with me. So what we are going to do is something I love about math. It's I do it, and then afterwards, you are going to do it together with my assistants. And thirdly, you're going to do it alone. Are you ready with that? Yes! Yeah, I love it. OK, here we go. So I do it. The first set up, vertical multiplication. Here we go. For, of course, I arrange it. And then first, and then this one going up, negative 7x. And then second term, plus 3x, then x times x. And then we combine the like terms here. Okay, so like, combining like terms becomes negative. Yes, that's your basic. So just copy everything and hold on, that's it. Okay, that's it. That's vertical multiplication, you guys. All right, let's do it together now. Is it okay? Yes. Now you do it alone for this. Come on, everybody. Answer. 2x plus 2 times x minus 4. Okay, everybody, what's the answer? What, what is the first thing that we're going to do? Arrange. Arrange. So it's like 2x plus 2. Okay, so answer on the board. I just made, we're going to do it a 
according to the I do, we do, you do. Now, I'd like you to take your uh, task cards. The orange one on top is the I do part. You can see there that I already answered it with a lot of writings and explanations. So that's the I do part. And then flip it. Next is the blue card. You are going to answer a given using the blue card or the model that you have. For example, if you have the model there, ice cream, the given that I'm going to write there, you're going to answer it through using ice cream method, with you the smiley method, with you the box method, and with you guys the uh, claw method. Then you can ask me if that is correct, if your answer is correct, because that is guided. Now flip it after the blue card, you will see a yellow card. This one, I'm going to give you individually your given. And then you're going to explain it on the board using the questions right after the yellow, which is, the, you are going to mention in your report the number of multiplications you made, um, what are the terms involved in the multiplication, and uh, is this setup helpful to you, all right? Copy that? Yes. Okay, so are we ready? Yes. Okay. Now study your I do method. So, 2x plus 2 times x minus 7. The given is 2x plus 2 times x minus 7. Okay. One. Okay. by number three and four. Number six will be done by one and two. Using your own setups. Okay, then we report. Proceed with the yellow ones. Use the marker, please. Make it larger so that when you explain, it's going to be large as well. involved? Four. four. So four. You multiply all the first terms. Say for example, if this is, which is the first term? S. Okay. So this one. Now, it depends on what you would like. If it's a smiley face, it's like that. And then the outer, and then the inner, and then, so it's a smiley face. Or if it's an ice cream, it's just a matter of perspective. Kung gigutom ka, then you can might as well use ice cream. First, last, and then the inner, and then the outer. Right? So that's the ice cream method, you guys. Or, or the vertical one, 
the vertical, you just do the arrangement. And this is the old method of multiplying way back in elementary days. And that's a no-brainer for you. And so the fourth one is the claw. Okay. Why it's called the claw? Because it's like the claw of an animal. Say for example, x minus 2 times x minus 3. So it's like first term here and then there and then here and there. Okay, so if we're going to have the arrows, it's like, wow, right? It's the claw, raw. All right, and then the other one is the box. Now, this is something of, okay, the boo box. We call it box. Simple as X, what's that? What's that? X minus 2. And then X here. X minus 3. So there are four boxes. So you put here the first, the F. So it's like, sorry here, X minus 3. It's like that. X times X, it's X squared, right? And then you're going to put here the last, F. O-I-L. So the last here, negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 6. And then we have negative 2x and we have negative 3x. Okay? And then we combine these terms here. So that's x squared minus 5x plus 6. So whatever is convenient for you, go ahead. B your own master okay okay for the blue one do you have the blue one okay let's have it the blue one the blue is used for the vertical multiplication okay so if you're using the blue paper right there in your blue paper that's vertical multiplication if you are using yellow Okay, okay. Wait, 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 we're going to check. Okay. Let me see, let me see. Okay, the answer is x squared minus 7x minus 18, correct. For Smiley, one point, Smiley. Next paper. Except sometimes that we're winning or we're losing, right? Did you enjoy the lesson? Yes. Okay. I hope that hindi lang mga games. You were you were not learning only the games, but you were learning also all the methods. Okay. Now, guys, I understand that you have your favorites. Since we don't have an online voting, so we cannot vote for the favorites. But I'm so happy that you have various favorites. So. You guys did the best. I hope that turned out good also in the YouTube channel. So thank you so much. Everybody stand up.